This is Twit. It's been a while since I've updated people on my goal. Um, Brian, you actually were the one who taught me about goal setting. Um, yeah. And, and I re dude, I remember we were in the, like the backwoods of North New Hampshire mm -hmm. and I started challenging you to ask and you, you started to spout off crazy stuff like, I want to host my own show in like a fancy <laughs> studio and be famous on YouTube. I literally now, said back then that I wanted like three things. I wanted to host my own podcast. I wanted a YouTube thing. And there was like one other, I wanted something else. I forget what it was. A billion dollars. Way to set that goal. <laughs> yeah, right. I, forgot. I didn't write it down, so I don't have What it. a great goal. <laughs> right. <laughs> and some of the things, and, and we covered this earlier, is write it down, make sure you have a deadline and all this stuff. So I'm not sure if Brian knows, but my goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2013. And so I wanted to, to, to mention the strategies that I've been doing um, since the, the weeks that I brought it up. Can, can I guess? Can yeah. I guess? Yeah. You go around to everyone else's channel saying, hey, check out my channel. I did, I'm awesome. <laughs> no, I really, haven't done that, that strategy yet. Has that worked for you, Brian? Uh, no, but uh, I, I figured it must be working <laughs> since that's all that's filled in my comments before Google Plus took them over. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now they show up as spam. Yeah, now they're just filtered right out of there. Um, so to show this off, I want to actually show you numbers and show you trends on what's going on. So we're actually going to go to my page, and I'm going to, I don't even know if this is legal. I, I have no idea. But we're going to do, <laughs> do it anyway. Um, so uh, the the goal needed, I needed to get around 100 subscribers a day, which I can absolutely say that's not happening. So if you look at my subscriber count, actually, I accidentally hit uh, view count. Or to subscribers, you can see that I'm not, I'm definitely not making that goal. So at the moment, it seems like, uh, you know, eh, give up, you know, but that's absolutely not what's <laughs> going to happen <laughs> because, because there's other ways that you can boost that number. And you can see these, these sort of humps in the graph. Um, that was for Minecon. So I found out that my Minecon videos were really good and for, as far as traction, which was something that kind of broke my channel out and that I got someone else on onto my channel, which brought in extra views. So that's a, that's a tip that I would suggest is, uh, we all know it, collaboration videos, doing them in practice is really hard, which I, which I found out. Um, and, and using uh, also just YouTube's built-in stuff, you can see which videos are getting the most traction. This one was shared via Reddit, so I, I know that, that is, that's something that I might want to focus on. Basically, all of these inputs are helping you decide where to focus your channel on. And, and I wanted to kind of run through this because every channel is going to be different. Everyone's channel is going to have a different strategy that you're going to need to use. So you can kind of work, see where I'm working through uh, my strategy and moving forward is maybe, you know, this one was shared on Reddit. That was where it got most of its views. So maybe I need to focus on making content that's a little bit more tailored to Reddit if they're already gravitating uh, to well, and, uh, and content. this is what I like about this, Chad, is that you are not falling into the trap that I think a lot of young YouTubers do, which is all they want to do is feel good about the number of views they got. They want to right. sit there and be like, that's right, over a thousand views. And, they, yeah. and of course, you know, 600 of them were themselves. Right. Uh, that's mm -hmm. it's that you can trick yourself into feeling very good, but that won't get you closer to your goal. And you nailed it. Like uh, the sub subscriber count is a proxy for the value of your brand as an entertainer and as a thought leader or whatever made up words we're using nowadays. Uh, huh. The the fact that you're focused on, okay, what can I do to drive that momentum and that you're evaluating what works and what doesn't. It, it also, some people fall into the trap like, okay, now I have my 2000 subscribers. I'll just cater to them. You want to keep your show uh, approachable, which is why you want to try to manufacture something that you know Reddit is going to like and that you can use as an audition tape to see if they're going to subscribe to you later on. Absolutely. And, and I want to focus on that audition tape because um, what I also what I wanted to combat in this conversation is that um, obviously I'm not hitting that that goal of getting 100 subscribers a day, which is what I need to do to get to 10,000. So many people, so the only way that I could possibly reach my goal at this point is to have a few breakout hits, is to have something where in a single day I get 3,000 subscribers or in a single day something, something big happens. And I'm worried that by saying that, a lot of people, and including myself, might say, well, then the stuff that I'm doing day to day, that doesn't matter. I should not focus on that. And I should focus 
only on those breakout hits. But what you're just like what you said, your channel is an audition place, and when people come to your channel, they need to they need to be able to enjoy the buffet of content that you've set out for them through all of these past months. So consistency is still key. If you just have one big video and people come and they notice that your channel is dead, it's you. there is no momentum there. You don't go anywhere from there. Um, That's a good point, because think about how many times we see one good episode of a show. We're like, what? how have I not heard about this? What do we do? We immediately go back to the back catalog on Netflix and on Hulu Plus and try to watch as many of episodes. And then by the time you've seen 30 episodes, now you're a galvanized fan and you can't wait for the next thing. That's why, you, as you nailed it, you got to have consistency of quality and of character the entire way through so that when one, you, you can try to make one intentionally like I, I'm going to overproduce this one. I'm going to tighten it more than I normally would. I'm going to make it about this, this currently popular topic when normally I don't necessarily have to do that, but I'm doing this intentionally because I think the Reddit would really like this. And then you throw it out there and, and maybe it becomes a viral hit. Again, you're going to get of, of the hundred thousand people that see that video, 10,000 are going to click back. And if there's nothing in the cat catalog, nobody's going to stick around. But of that 10,000, they'll see you got 30 episodes, you know, uh, 5,000 are going to start watching, and by the end, you're going to have 1,000 dyed-in-the-wool true fans who all came out of that original 100,000 viral hit. 